Hallelujah, church, coming in on a different hour and a different time. And, you know, just totally inviting you in to come into this space and just really being thankful and grateful for what we do have. You know, sometimes we can always look of what we don't have that we really don't realize what we do have. You know, it reminds me of a time that you know there was no money to pay no bills I'm like okay no money no bills but then sometimes um, you know you can't pay the bills um, and you know there there came a time to where where I had the money and then you know we're upset that we had to pay the bills okay because all the money went to the bills and so you see there's a difference there because one is that that's what the Lord revealed to me um, when I was in the line and someone couldn't pay their bills. And now I was in that same line and now I could pay the bills. I just didn't want to pay the bills because all the money was going towards the bills. And so we can find a balance of being grateful and thankful unto the Lord where he would just grant us favor and more favor blessing and more blessing and I believe that we're being you know so much challenged in our lives that we need to encourage one another in the faith and in the love of God that you know what we can do this the blessings of God are just pouring out in our lives and not everything is money amen not everything is money um he took me to the word of scripture and i'm just gonna just share a little bit with you amen because i do want to give that word of encouragement for your life today you know i was able to i was speaking and ministering to someone even yesterday and she's like you know you're out there you're out there and I was just thinking, you know, I don't really feel like I'm doing as much as I was doing. And she's like, no, I'm, I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. And, you know, it just truly blessed me. And that in itself was an encouragement. Amen. So let's move forward. Let's bless the name of the Lord. It may not be off to the extent of maybe what we want and what we want to do but really it's in our reality to say okay what is it that we have and what is it that God wants us to do you know I want you to stand on the promises of God just like I stand on the promises of God I want you to believe in God just like I believe in God amen and I want you to act upon the word of God just like I act upon the word of God you know not everything is um, roses you know my mom my dear mother that has gone before my my uh, future and you know she would just tell me you know everything is not you know red roses and a white picket fence in your house and you know you're gonna get some thorns in your life and you have to put things out of perspective and a lot of things that it helped you at one end to pull you through another end and you just feel like you're just chasing 
And, you know, the blessings of the Lord chases us down. It chases us down. And that's where we can have trust and belief and know that it's God that is working in our lives. And that's who we need to trust. And that is in the Lord. And see, there out of the book of Isaiah, there in 55, this is the Lord that is saying that all you are thirsty, just come and drink. Those of you who do not have money, come on now, come and buy and eat. Come and buy this wine and milk without the money and without any cost. See, we spend. Why spend your money on something that is not real food? Why work on something that doesn't really even satisfy you? I want you to listen and listen closely to me and you will eat what is good. I mean, my father used to always say, this is steak while you wait. In other words, this is the best meal of the day is when we get in the word of God. See, listen closely to me and you will eat what is good, that your soul will enjoy the rich food that satisfies. You know, these aren't just delicacies. These aren't just, you know, nit bits, tit bits, bite bits, um, you know, all those little bit bits, bite, little bites um, that you see, you know, microwave, just throw it in there. No, th this is the word of God that we're speaking about. And a lot of times, and more than little times of nitbits, you know, to prophesy that word of God, you know what? I always have more than enough. Because we serve a God that, you know what? That we don't lack. And God's not going to disgrace us. He's not going to shame us. He's not going to embarrass us. You know, even the Lord says, listen closely to me and you will eat what is good. Physically for our bodies, lovingly for our soul and our spirit. I mean, this is the word of God. And, you know, I'm just encouraging myself by all the avenues that the doors that the Lord has opened, you know, to create these books. I'm an author and minister there on Amazon. We've created all different types of designs for clothing uh, that will encourage faith in our walk. Um, faith-filled words that will encourage pray without ceasing um, I mean we have clothing that says pray without ceasing orar sin cesar you know English and Spanish Jesus is Lord Jesus is Rey you know we have all these different things to express that we love God in our lives and then we have our e-commerce store. Our e-commerce store is a lot of little nitpick things. And some things are a little bit uh, high, but they're not too high. I think that they're like at medium or even low ball uh, with the quality and all of the things uh, that you get included. You know, uh, people are reaching out to me and saying, let me create this store for you. You know, when they want to charge me buku of money, uh, even into the thousands, and I'm thinking, you know, I want to earn the thousands because I really want to be a blessing in these third world countries. You know, Pakistan has reached out to me, and we're just developing a friendship right now to see what's the next move of God in those areas. We videoed, uh, I've, I've shown the increase of all the different things that are happening, the kids being in slavery, the orphans. And you know, these are things that the Lord has called us as a body to do. You know, he said that, you know, feed the orphans, take care of the widows. You know, these are our biblical terms and, and, and not just something that we say, but something that we do. We have our uh, orphanage home there in Africa. 
you know, taking care of those uh, in the transformative center and actually training people to be uh, better people and to get closer in encountership with God. And then as the Lord opens the door, you know, show them the workplace. You know, let God to be God in those tight places where they may seem, oh, this is impossible. But you know what? We have to bury all the dead stuff and allow God to come alive in many parts of our lives. And, you know, that's just a little portion besides all of our videos and all of our teachings that we do. And, you know, I would love to create different types of, of materials, um, CDs and so forth. But God hasn't expanded that area yet. You know, that has not been yet. But the writing, that is something that God has always put into my heart to do. I'm not doing it to make my name, you know, on the label or uh, just to say, okay, this is my checklist. You know, these are things that God developed within me and my spirit for a very long time. As a matter of fact, those that are around me and that know me, at one time we were even watching the elderly and taking care of the elderly um, and going into uh, the elderly homes and being able to minister. But because of this thing now that you know that we're going through to COVID, I mean, there's a lot of things that had to shift and had to change and we grow and, and others are, are taking the win of growing and becoming that with God has created them to be. So, you know, I just want you to get into the wave. Get into the blessing. Let the Lord bless you. Let, let the Lord increase you in your knowledge and your wisdom and your understanding. Let the Lord build your temple. Amen. And create you so that you may be strengthened and encouraged every step of the way. So that's my challenge for you here today. Amen. It's just putting God first. Putting God first in all these areas and avenues, even as myself. And you know, when I do all these things, it's always been a cost out of pocket for me. And I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. I'm trusting in the Lord. You know, I'm bringing forth that investment uh, to bring forth the Word of God and to be a blessing to these third world countries and and even the book itself. And I mean, I'm I'm working on another one. I need to be more at it. And it's truly going to be a yearly, all-around book. To bring words of encouragement to your life. See, I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about you to encourage your life. And for you to have a closer encounter with God. Every day, that is my prayer. You know, that we will walk that perfect will of God. And I know that He may take us to certain seasons in our lives. And certain things that we have to go through, we have to pass through. But you know what? I'm just saying, just if you have any trouble right now, just cast that care on over to the Lord. Forgive, love, bless. You know, be an encouragement. Be an encouragement to somebody today. Bring life to the hopeless and to those that are in need. Let's be a light. Let's do the work of the Lord. Especially in this season right now. That you know what? There's things that have to be buried. So that new things can come alive. Amen. And so as we are in this intercession. You know through the worship music there behind me. I mean they're just praising the Lord. Worshiping the Lord. Speaking prophetically. Of those things in the spirit and you can do that too amen 
So as I release you today, let us just pray and just be in agreement that may God's will be done. So Father God, we thank you, Lord, as we release your power, your Holy Spirit, your word over and in our lives that we're we may seem things to be impossible, Lord. You make things to be possible in our lives. Where we don't see the light, you turn on the light. Where we don't see the door, you open the door. Father God, we call in the blessing here today. Prophetically, we speak the blessing to flow in our lives. We receive it. We walk in it. We call it. We claim it. We grab it. Come on now. We take it and we walk in this blessing that you've called us into, not only today, but each and every day. The promise of God belongs to us and we receive it here today. We honor you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. And we praise your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for having your way. And that you may teach us in thy way that we should go. Just as like we teach our children that when we get older. And we keep on getting older as the Lord permits. And as you tarry, Lord. That we will never turn away from the Lord. Begin new birth. Begin new beginnings. Begin new creations. Create in me a clean heart. And renew a right spirit within me in Jesus mighty name I pray we love you church once again you know what we receive a prophet's reward amen and you too shall be blessed so God bless you we love you and until next time church amen and amen thank you for soaring higher with me today amen can you do me a favor? We're gonna pray through the river. But what I need you to do as a prophetic demonstration, I need you to come out from where you are and I need you to leap forward. Thank you. She's a comeback kid. I said I need you to come out of yourself as a prophetic demonstration and leap forward. Y'all don't understand what y'all just did. Now if you're really radical, I dare you to loop again. I dare you to loop again. And as you leap, you're leaping into accelerated time.
filled with the Holy Spirit and the blood of the Lamb. And we speak to Jezebel. We dismember you in this atmosphere. We break your bones asunder. We 